Hi everybody, this is Ryan from Drinks and Dragons, and today's video is going to be something that is a lot different than anything that I've done before on the channel. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of a review of this D&D one-shot that uh, some of the characters, some of the actors from Stranger Things uh, joined up with Chris Perkins uh, to do a sort of a Christmas themed, I suppose, uh, D&D one-shot session. And I was excited because I'm a huge fan of the show Stranger Things, of course. And, uh, and I'm obviously also a huge fan of Dungeons and & Dragons and where those two worlds collide. I thought this is going to be really fun. But I was blown away. I thought it was fantastic. And so this video is going to be a little bit of a conversation about why I thought it was such a really good one shot uh, with, with some people who clearly are not, you know, expert D&D &D players, right? Uh, so it turned out to be fantastic. So stay tuned. So I'm not going to give away any spoilers over uh, kind of what actually went down during this session. Uh, I'll put a link down below for uh, where this uh, this session is on YouTube. It's basically a, kind of a combination of the Stranger Things folks, the Netflix folks, and the Dungeons and Dragons folks with Chris Perkins being the dungeon master and with four of the actors from Stranger Things coming together to play a kind of a Christmas themed, if you will, one, one shot session. Those four actors being David Harbour, uh, Gate Matarazzo, Finn Wolfhard, and Natalia Dyer. Um, interestingly, kind of right out of the gate, of course you've got Chris Perkins who is the creative genius behind so many awesome D&D &D campaigns and is a you know, there's videos of, of him being a phenomenal dungeon master that go way back. But what was interesting here is most of these folks, at least to my appearance here as I sort of was watching them play, are really new to Dungeons and Dragons. David Harbour, I felt like he's played before. Uh, he had some, he had a couple of quick movements within there in terms of moving across the player sheet that I thought kind of hinted that he had some experience there. But Natalia Dyer, admittedly had never played before. This was her first session. And I think I think Finn and uh, Gaten also, while probably new to the game, uh, they, they also were able to kind of move around their player sheet. So I really think there was probably three brand new players in, in the, the younger folk, sorry, David, and then David Harper, <laughs> who's still younger than me. So everybody's younger. But anyways, I digress. Um, and the adventure started out, it was pure theater of the mind, role-playing Dungeons and Dragons, and it was fantastic. I'm gonna break down a little bit about what I, you know, what I think made it such a, a good story. So everybody first introduced their characters, and they had some really rich backstories, and I guess that's what you get if you have actors, uh, professional actors who are playing Dungeons and Dragons with you. Uh, no one, picked up voices other than Chris Perkins, who voiced uh, NPCs and some characters, which I thought was interesting. And when I say picked up voices, I mean no one changed their accents or anything uh, to, to fit any sort of other character. Um, but that that's fine. And, uh, you know, they all kind of had pretty rich backstories that they brought to the table. And I was really curious how much pre-planning they had done because in particular, Gaten's character had a backstory that just weaved so nicely into the overall overall tale uh, that I just was kind of either Chris Perkins, well, okay, so we can all aspire to be a dungeon master that can take these backstories and just weave them into the overall all tale if that's in fact what happened, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was. But it was it was really really rich, uh, very entertaining, and uh, and throughout the whole process, once they once the players really started to engage, uh, it got a little dark. It was a little bit unsettling. Some of the scenes, I guess, that happened, and you know, it was just good D and D magic. Uh, kind of when these things happen. You see people cringing, people laughing. Uh, you know, it's the immersion of it was fantastic. 
when I said it was theater of the mind, I mean, there's no grid lines, there's no maps, uh, obviously, as they were playing. I, okay, so, you, but if you have, if you have Netflix and you have Stranger Things and you've got, uh, you know, Wizards of the Coast kind of backing you, the production value was phenomenal. So you had Chris Perkins in one screen and I'll, I've got, I'll do some screen shots here so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But he's in a window and then you've got the players in the window and the way the cameras cut between the players as they're talking, as they kind of come, get front and center. There was this really cool border uh, around all of the characters. Um, of course, Chris Perkins had his, has his uh, DM screen in front of him, but and it looks like most everybody was playing with D&D &D Beyond player sheets, which I thought was kind of cool, because I saw the, the, the uh, characters, the players looking at their character sheets on their mobile devices, usually. Um, but there was some really good artwork that kind of propelled the story. So while the story was narrative and it was theater of the mind, Chris Perkins describing the scenes, they also cut away to some phenomenal art. Uh, some of the characters uh, that they interacted with, the NPCs, there was artists' renderings of what those characters looked like. And the other thing that I, I'll say besides that, which kind of gets your brain, your mind sort of imagining kind of the scope of where you're at and, and who you're interacting with, with whom you're interacting. Uh, there was some really good music and background effects, musical effects or just background noise effects. Sometimes it wasn't music. That also helps with that immersion. And that is something that I'm trying to do in my game as well, is try to bring some music in or try to bring in. And, and I don't, you know, these guys have production staffs who I'm sure have, the, have buttons that they can hit to cue up certain sounds and things like that. So, hey, it, we do the best we can. Uh, at the end of the day, it is about the shared story. And uh, I will end with this. It's a couple of hours of just fantastic Dungeons and Dragons uh, storytelling. And I think it would be a great intro video for someone who wants to see how the game is played just in terms of the interaction between the dungeon master and the players. You don't get to see a lot of the mechanics, you know, the dice rolls, everybody's rolling their d20 uh, or the damage dice occasionally. You don't get to see a lot of that. Obviously you don't see the player sheet, so it's not a, you're not going to come away with this you, magically knowing how to play Dungeons and Dragons by watching this, but you'll see how the game is played between the interaction between a DM and players. And I think that's that's worth it. And it's hugely entertaining. And it's, you know, we mean to Stranger Things fix. It's been a long time. And I know they're working really hard uh, here where I live in Georgia to, uh, to get season four underway. So we're excited for season four. Excited you guys. I'm talking to the four players who played, who are gonna be watching this video, I'm, sh I'm sure. <laughs> and Chris Perkins. Thank you. It was great to watch you guys on, on film playing this game uh, that we all love out here in the D&D community. And I hope everybody keeps playing. So with that, go watch the Stranger Things uh, Lost Odyssey adventure. Uh, was it Trouble in, t was it Toy Time in Tin Towns or something? It was very alliterative, alliterative the title. Uh, but fantastic uh, and entertaining. So we'll see you guys next time. This is Ryan from Drinks and Dragons signing off. Oh, call to action. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button. Leave me comments down below for anything else you want to see. And I'll link you to my homebrew campaign over here on this side. So see you soon.